Hello everyone, this is Dragonaut and welcome to episode 4 of Hellsbord Hogwarts in Minecraft. And today the plan is to complete the roof of the Violet Entrance and hopefully maybe if we have time to move on to the Durham section which is one of my favourite sections in the entirety of Hogwarts. And last episode we built these two towers and of course finished the foundations over there and if you've not watched that I highly recommend checking that out first, there'll be a link in the description and a card in the top right hand corner. And just a reminder if you are enjoying the series and you're not already subscribed, I'd highly recommend subscribing and you'll be notified of when all my uploads will be and it will really support the channel and I would really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to go to is one of our towers, doesn't really matter which one, we'll be cloning it onto the other side as well. So I'm going to go with the back right hand corner and what we're going to do is we're going to go up six more blocks along this tower. So one, two, three, four, five, six and basically just do that on all of the towers. Just basically raise this tower by six more blocks. And then once you've done that you can go ahead and grab yourselves some sandstone stairs and then what you can do is you're going to go three like that and then whilst facing this direction place one there and then three and then turn around and place this one here and then three there and then turn around and place one there and then so on and then last one right there and then on top of that you're going to place one more layer of cut sandstone and then that will look like that and then it is now time to build the tower roof so if you go grab themselves some roof blocks so i recommend going with dark oak planks and then snow brick walls and some stark oak fences and so the first thing i want to do is build a three by five area on all four sides so just like that one two three four five and one of them on all of these sides of the tower and then in the middle areas place three blocks and then a two fences on top just like that and do that on all four sides as usual and then to polish it off place two blocks in here to form a kind of l shape just to fix these fences and that will look just like that and then in here place two more blocks and then grab yourself some stairs actually, so some dark oak stairs, I can never find dark oak stairs, so there they are, where are they, there they are. So grab, grab some dark oak stairs and place one there and one there and then a fence on the top and of course do that for each side. So one there, one stair, one block in the middle, another block and then a fence. Again, two in the middle, one stair, one stair and then a fence on the top. And then from here go up eight blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and do that across here. So basically a three by eight area along there. And then of course do that on all the other sides. So one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then of course do that for the entire tower and it should create three, three, and then three on this side here. And that should look like that. And then as usual, place two blocks on top, just like this, in the middle of all these sections. Place some stairs, leading up to the middle sections, just like so, just like that. And then of course a fence on the top. And then from here, you're gonna go five blocks up. So this is one, two, three, four, five, to create another five by three section. And basically just do that for this area. So that's two layers three layers, four layers, and then five on the top. And then, of course, there's gonna be another two, just like so. And then some stairs, so one like that, one like that, one like that, and then one like that. Some fences on the top, and then one, two, three, just like that. And then to cap it off, actually grab yourself an anvil, an anvil just like that, one snow brick wall, one dark oak fence, an anvil, doesn't matter what angle, and then place another fence on top and that will complete that section of the roof. And then you can go ahead and fly down here and knock in a window just about there. And that is the second and back tower now complete. And then all we need to do is build this onto the other side, but that's quite a lot of effort. So what we can do is again, is use the clone command. So I'm gonna go and have myself some glass. You don't want to use glass, it's just what I'm gonna use to demonstrate. And so come out one block there and then two blocks just like that. And if you did do the clone command for this tower, it is the exact same principle. So come down all the way to the bottom and choose a block that's in line with this line and this line here and do slash clone and then tab, tab or the equivalent three times and I'll take the corner of this block here. Of course, nothing will happen. And then do the exact same thing except at the top. Come out one and then two, just like that. And then just build all the way up until this is above the tower. It doesn't matter really where, let's just go with that. And then of course you can go ahead and destroy all of these blocks down here. And then taking the card you just did, then press tab another three times and that will take the coordinates of this block. And then remembering that we took the coordinate of this block, the block you want to be standing on is going to be the block beneath it except over onto that tower. So what you need to do is we need to go fly to this tower and then come out two blocks there. So we'll be standing on this block here. Um, loading the last command you just did and press tab three times whilst not looking at any block. And now I'll take these three squiggles over there, just like that and press enter. And assuming everything has gone right, it will have cloned it in. 
which is absolutely perfect. Of course, this window is on the wrong side, so just remove that, and of course, just place that on the other side, just like that. And then, of course, go ahead and remove these glass blocks. And congratulations, you just did the cloning command successfully, and you did just transfer that onto there, which looks absolutely awesome. And then that just means it is now time to build the roof. However, the first thing I want to do is actually just, you know, it's looking a bit empty at the back here. So we should probably go ahead and finish off the back before we start with the roof. And so what we're going to want to do is to come from this block here, so in line with this height, come out 16 more blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, just like that. And then what you are going to need to do is fill in this entire area with cut sandstone. So what we can do is we can like slash fill while sitting at this end block and press tab three times to get the coordinates of that. And then if we just come down to here and while sitting at this block, press tab another three times and then cut sandstone. However, if you are on bedrock edition, you will need to use sandstone two instead of cut sandstone. That is the ID in bedrock. Obviously there's a gap, we have a gap here. So you just go ahead and fill this in and that will look just like that. A very, very big and plain and boring wall. And then from this area here, you're gonna go 10 more blocks this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then using the same logic we just used last time, we will use the slash four command to take these three coordinates over here and then these three coordinates down here and press tab and then cut sandstone. Of course, if you are on bedrock, you'll use sandstone too and that will fill in that wall there. And there is this wall down here, which is for a slightly different purpose. And so this wall will go up just like that. And so if we come down 11 blocks, so if we come in line with this block, with this kind of, um, with this beam here, and we go down 11 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. We will take the oven block and just come out just like that. And then we will just come out until we are in line with that corner there. Again, there should be, this should be the 11th block down. So there should be 10 blocks above there and to there. And then of course, in the exact same logic, we can use a slash four command to take these three coordinates and then the three coordinates at the end and obviously cut sandstone once again, just like that. And these are different lengths, that is deliberate. In the final project, there will be a roof going for along here, but first I think it's time we work on this roof finally. So what you are going to need to do is grab yourselves some dark oak stairs and a lot of them, since we are basically just going to build an outline along here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just build an outline of dark oak stairs along the entire east wing. So one line along there, make sure there's one block gap in between, so one block there, and then over to here, one block gap right there, and then another line of dark oak stairs, like that, and then another line along here, just like that. And actually a very important thing is we need to build this middle section. This middle section is rather different. And then the next thing to do is come out 14 more blocks from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And this 14th block will be the equivalent of this side. And then just come out another few blocks until it comes in line with this wall there. And obviously this is the equivalent, and then of course you can go ahead and destroy these blocks in the middle, they are not needed. And then you can just go ahead and join this up with the other tower, and then of course do your appropriate full commands to basically replicate this side onto that side. And that would look like that. And then obviously coming down 11 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so this block here. And then of course you will come out to be in line with this corner down here, so just to here, and then of course do the exact same full command just down here just like that and then now this should be all be perfectly symmetrical and so in this area the reason we did that is because it does bend around into this area so all you should do is just come in just like so and keep this line going until you reach the end of the line so until you reach here just like that and then if you go over to here and start the exact same thing so just keep placing blocks to get like that and then all you can do is you can build a small arch until these two sides line up. And then once you've made this, so basically there should be one block, one block here, one stair, so one stair, two stairs, three stairs, four stairs, five stairs, six stairs, and there will be a one block gap in the middle. So in that gap, you will grab yourself some dark oak slabs and place one there. And that will basically be the height of your violet entrance roof. And so the next thing you need to do is quite tiresome. You need to basically just do this around the entire entire building. Yeah, there's not really an easy way to go around this, so let's just, just start building. And what we need to do is basically just wrap this around the entire building. I'm only gonna do I'm only gonna do half, um, but you want to do the entire building. 
And yeah, so basically just making sure it's kind of a pyramid, but kind of like rectangular pyramid with obviously this weird bit over there. And obviously some of these corners are quite tight to get into, just make sure you get into here as well. And then just come around all the way so, and then get into all of these very tight corners. And then obviously just come out all the way down here. And then you will just go around until you come basically to this pyramid here. And yes, yeah, so basically just continue this all the way around. I will do it in the form of a time lap. And so without further ado, let's get straight into it. And And that should look like this. And of course, once you get to the height of the top where this slab is, you're going to finish off the area with this layer of slabs. So let's go ahead and fill in the rest of the area with slabs. There should be a one block gap between these areas, which is perfectly fine. And then just complete the slabs off. And then we have this area here, which is rather complicated to build. And so I guess the first thing we need to do is to just build two layers of this across. So it's coming along just like so. And then from here, you're going to get your first dark oak slab and place one there and then get a dark oak plank below, just like that. And this is the beginning of this kind of different roof shape, which accommodates this kind of like triangle here. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go down in a normal slope, just like so, until you reach this area and break this and replace this with a dark oak plank. And that should be a nice gradient of half a block just down there. And then what you're going to do is place one slab there and then just come down just like that and then place two blocks under there and while you're at it please, I don't know, like that and then get another one, one dark oak plank and do basically the exact same thing so just three like that and of course filling in these gaps here just like that and basically fill in these and then of course another one just like so just like that and it should create this basic shape so it should be half block, half a slab gradient just down here and then basically one block's equivalent worth of gap and then another one and then one and a half blocks of gap and then another one and then one and a half blocks of gap and then another one and then in the gap just go ahead and fill in the rest of the stairs these just basically just fit, they, these all just fit in quite nicely just like that and then all you need to do is of course copy this onto the other side and so I will see once you've done that. Obviously, you can go ahead and just rewatch the area of the video for this area, but it is pretty simple. And then just put that, and then just build this onto this side. And then that will look like that once complete, and it does look very, very cool. And I did get a bunch of comments saying, "How do you get in?" And so what you can do is grab yourself any door you want. I'm going to go with a dark oak door, and yeah, just smash a hole in there and just place a door. It's very anticlimactic, but. Yeah, if you do want, I can show you how to use clone commands to create a proper working and opening door in Minecraft vanilla. It will look very cool, it will be quite complicated, so if you guys do want that, drop that in the comments section. And then, if we do move round to the back, we need basically just need to continue these sandstone kind of um, decorations. And so, just build these all around here, just like so. And of course, at all of the different levels we have. So there's a top one, this kind of middle one, and then this one around the bottom. So just go and add all of those in, just like that. And actually just remove this one, sorry, not meant to be there. And then what you can do is build the roof at this bottom area. So what you're going to need to do is go basically just like that. So basically just a, a, a grid and half of half slabs and just build that for this area along here. And that will look like that. And then in this gap, leave um, a four block gap and punch out a three block gap area um, with a two and a half block gap in here. And then go ahead and place some, let's go with smooth sandstone stairs actually, since it kind of blends more with the cut sandstone. Place two just like that. And then go yourself to your window block. So obviously black stained glass for my one. And then just use that to fill in the back of this window, just like that. And that, way, and that basically, will be the viaduct entrance done and then of course just flip this onto this side and then we can start work on the Durham section over here and then once you've done that you can go ahead and build up from this basically until you come to the end of this line down here but just end slightly before it just before this 2x3 block down here and then if you do come down here we need to build a massive pillar well not so big but you need to build a pillar that is 2x2 two two, 
all the way up from this foundation so basically on this 2x2 platform in here and this will just go up until you reach this area and then build another four blocks up just like that and then in and then on the top you can get four sandstone stairs just like so and yeah these are going to be rather difficult to position into the correct place so what you can do is grab yourself a debug stick i'm not sure if this does exist on minecraft bedrock if you are on java you can do slash give debug stick it might exist on bedrock i will have to double check and basically if whenever you left click or hit a block as you can see stuff at the bottom is changing and you need to change the setting to to selected shape which is down here and currently it says straight so all you need to do is place right click until it changes into an l shape and then just do that until it creates this kind of little little pool down here and that is when you know that is done and then once you've done that you basically need to wrap this roof around and basically just bring this over to there and so wrap it around just like any other roof would in a corner just like so and then just build this all the way out until it comes in line with this pillar here and of course as usual if you're entering the series make sure to subscribe i really appreciate it it's free if you don't want to unsubscribe you can unsubscribe anytime you want and if you do need help feel free to join my discord server in that server you can ask for help or just run an epic harry potter community in general there will be a link in the description as always and then once you've done that you just need to fill in this area and so you can use r slash fill techniques to take these three coordinates there and come down over to here not that far come down to here and take your other three coordinates from here and of course sand, cut sandstone cut um, sandstone too if you are playing on bedrock edition just like that and then once you've done that you can go ahead and come around here it's basically come down here place one block here so all these the reason there's a gap here is because this is where the central tower is going to be and so basically there's an l shape and then another one here another block there it's basically just have wrap around five blocks just like that but just leave them alone and basically just build this all the way along to build this along until you come in line with this pillar in here and of course you're going to build this up all the way to the top so come up here and then take the corners of this block as usual and this block should be the exact same height of this area here and take these coordinates right here and cut sandstone as usual and that will look just like that this gap the right there is intentional and then what you want to do is place this area in here and so if you want to do is grab some sandstone slabs so sandstone slab just like that and basically place four just like that so basically this should be one and a half blocks above here however it's going to be two blocks thick and then just do the exact same thing gradually slipping down just like that and then make this two blocks thick so just basically repeat what you've done and that should look just like that and so what you should do is hit this pillar right here and build this up until it comes in line with those sandstone blocks over there. So once you've reached this area with sandstone, you need to go an extra nine blocks up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and do that for the entire pillar. Except from now, just make it only a two by two pillar, just like that. And then once you've reached the top, you can grab yourselves some sandstone walls, place them on the top, just like that. And then top of them, you can go ahead and do the exact same trick using our sandstone stairs and of course our debug stick if it does allow you in your edition of minecraft if if you're on bedrock edition i'm not sure if this does exist if it doesn't you can just place replace these with normal bricks uh, with normal blocks and then what you're going to do is just take this wall and just build it up all the way up filling in this gap here leaving this block here this block is not actually meant to be there it's for the wall along here so yeah just don't just don't just don't do anything with that block over there do your best to fill in the gaps and then when you can't just go ahead just like that and then just not and then break the block there just like that and then if you take these two blocks in here and you can break a two by three area just under there and then if you grab yourself some smooth sandstone stairs just like that you can place two just like that under there and then obviously grab your window block so obviously black stained glass in our example and just place this to fill in the back of the window just like that and then two blocks beneath there is another window now this time you're going to break a two by four area this window is slightly bigger and it's the exact same trick using the sandstone stairs to make an archway and then placing the glass behind and then you can grab yourself some sandstone slabs and place one right there one right there come down and then one line along there which is one block beneath this window and that will be the first section of the durham section done and then what you can do is actually grab yourself some more sandstone slabs 
and wrap these around this window section over here, just like that. And then just build this all the way along this wall along here until you reach the end just there. And then of course you can come three blocks in and add in the windows along here. So there should be a three by four window just here. And of course, placing in our smooth sandstone stairs just like that to make the archway just like that. And then leave a two block gap and then build another one and then another two block gap and then another one and then another two block gap and then your final window in here. And if you've done it right, there should be a one block gap there. And then of course behind it, you'll need to add in all of your windows. And then this area should look like this once complete. And so I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching. If you did find this very helpful, please press subscribe. I really appreciate it. And thank you very much for watching. In this episode, we will of course complete carry on with this area. And if you need help, if you do have got stuck anywhere, you can join my Tickle server for support and I will try to help you out as much as possible. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode and I will see you then.